Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Right now, my portfolio is down $300, guys. It is complete stock together right now. The markets are going down. There's a lot of fear in the markets about interest rates. There's a lot of fears about tariffs. There's a lot of fears about slowing growth. Uh, for the week, my portfolio is down $400. That's almost 3%, guys. It is getting really bad in the markets. Uh, for the month, I am down $500. It is just complete terrible. We're going to talk about what stocks I've been doing. We're going to talk about on um, my plays my future plays in the market and you know right now it's just a lot of fear right um a lot of people are saying, are saying that you know is a recession coming um you know the white house denies it they're saying i know the uh the um you know job reports are looking good you know we're creating jobs the economy is stable and there's nothing to worry about but uh, you know the market uh listens to these uh fed uh fed interest rates that are going up and continuously going up i think there's another um there might be another um interest rates increase uh by the end of the year and the, the market does not like these interest rates going up um i remember uh, uh, maybe last year, uh, you know, the interest rates was going up. But I think uh, for this year, it's really starting to sink in that, you know, hey, um, interest rates are keep, they just keep rising. And, you, you know, we're, once you get to that, you know, those sort of levels like, you know, 5%, 10%, 20%, 20%, it just gets insane. And, you know, investors really do look at that and they say, well, you know, that's not going to be bad. Excuse me, that, that is going to be bad if uh, the interest rates keep going up. But uh, we're going to talk about my portfolio. You got um, AV. I decided to keep them in my portfolio, $88.00. Did not have a good day. Uh, minus thirteen dollars, ten shares, uh, seventy nine average cost of um, seventy nine dollars. Um, the thing I, I like Johnson and Johnson more than Advi, but I'm just going to keep them in the portfolio for uh, you know a little bit longer. I you know Johnson Johnson is overvalued right now. I can't get into that stock. I'm not going to overpay for Johnson Johnson, especially when I have a, a good average cost with uh, Advi Pharmaceuticals. So you know that takes care of that uh boeing um this is um so boeing is back in the portfolio we can see all these other stocks uh are coming back into my portfolio i, I don't know why i keep buying these stocks uh boeing average cost uh three um three hundred dollars uh, three hundred and twenty dollars uh past month is it's really been stocks are just really just been dipping it's not just boeing all every stock is in the red um, there, a lot of stocks are entering their bear markets um i bought boeing because you know i i'm familiar with them i need a Excuse me, I didn't need an industrial stock, but I had, uh, I think, Caterpillar Incorporated in the last uh, video. But I saw a buying opportunity with Boeing. I wish I would have bought it when it was, like, really right here at that $300 level. That was insane. I wish I would have uh, saw that. But, unfortunately, I, um, I didn't get on, get on my phone fast enough. And when I bought it, it was, like, $320. But uh, that's fine. I think uh, Boeing should be okay going forward. Um, not too worried about them. Bank of America. So, you know, I'm, putting, I'm starting to get into the, the financials. The banks, uh, putting bank stocks in my portfolio. I don't know, guys. Listen, you know, I, I'm a, I told you guys I'm a big fan of Warren Buffett. I, I, I like to see what he's doing. I like to, you know, sort of just listening, uh, listen to the YouTube videos uh, when he's talking and he's uh, giving his thoughts about the market. You know, his whole uh, analogy of buying and holding. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of financials uh, in his portfolio. He has a lot of uh, Goldman Sachs. He has a lot of Bank of America. He has a lot of Wells Fargo. He has a lot of, uh, a lot of financial stocks, bank stocks in his portfolio. But um, for me... Yeah, I mean, I I, I kind of like to mimic what he does, not not sort of uh, to the extreme uh, extremities like you know when he bought Teva for example, uh, Teva Pharmaceuticals it was like twelve dollars, and that was really really risky. I I thought that was a risky play, but uh, yeah, so I bought Bank of America, and uh, you know I'm kind of I'm uh, sort of following Buffett into these uh, financial stocks. Kind of uh, I I really I I bank with Bank of America, so it makes sense. Uh, you know I actually know the stock. I know I I I bank with them. I have a debit card with them. Uh, 20 shares, 20, uh, average cost $27.43. Um, I bought them today. I'll probably get about, I, I, I'm thinking about 50 shares of this stock. I, this stock may go lower because the interest rates are going up. Uh, I don't know how it's going to affect the stock, but uh, we can see 26 again. Uh, levels at uh, $26. Um, I think that's where Buffett bought it. He bought it probably around $26. But um, yeah, um, you know, I'm following Buffett into these uh, financial stocks. I, I'm only probably just going to get Bank of America. I'm not going to go too uh, crazy with that. Uh, Costco, 
Uh, so, and you know, I don't know why I keep buying these uh, uh, retail stocks, but, but uh, specifically speaking, Costco, I just keep buying it. I don't know why I keep buying this thing because it's overvalued. I know it's overvalued, but I don't care if that is overvalued because uh, I just like the company. I don't. I, I shop there, and um, you know, I have the membership. So, you know, uh, I think they have a good Black Friday. I think I had CVS Pharmacy in the last video. Um, they had a actually they had a, a bad dip today. Every stock had a bad dip today, but I saw that like, Costco really really came down um two hundred and nineteen dollars uh, 10 shares of 221 dollars portfolio for diversity of 15 percent down 22 dollars uh you look I, I you know costco's costco i trust them um I, I like them a lot. They they actually do have their own pharmacy, so um, it's a good stock. It, it really is a good stock. I mean, it's it's overvalued, but uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I guess it's it's back in my portfolio. I, I can't help myself, guys. I I just love these little. Bo the, I love the Boeing's, the uh, the Costco's, and the McDonald's of the world. Speaking of McDonald's, uh, one eighty three. Uh, total shares, 10, uh, 10, 10 shares, average cost 165 for a total return of $186. I'm just going to hold McDonald's. I don't have Starbucks anymore. Um, I should have kept Starbucks. I was in at a great average cost. I think it was like $40, $48 in the previous videos. Um, now it's $67, guys. So I would have really, really been up on Starbucks, and I would have had a, 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 a complete – uh, dividend yield, a high dividend yield with that stock. I don't know why I sold it. Um, yeah, so I, I got to start mastering the, 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 the buying and holding strategies. But, you know, so when stocks start dipping like crazy and, and you start looking at these valuations, you'd be like, man, I got to start rotating some money into that stock. Uh, Microsoft uh, took a little bit of a hit today. They're starting to, they're trying to come back in the after hours of uh, average uh, cost $104, 30 shares. I am down $90. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good stock. But uh, as of late, I've been looking at Apple, and Apple has been dropping much harder than Microsoft. And um, yes, things are getting inter interesting yet again, guys. Um, you know, I know uh, again, I, I like to you know kind of mimic Buff uh, Warren Buffett. Obviously, the, uh, the rich people have more information than I do, but um, I know uh, Warren Buffett really he really likes Apple a lot, and I do too. So. Um, right, I, I do like Microsoft a little bit more than Apple, but the valuation of Apple is starting to become attractive to me. If it, if it gets down to the, um, about maybe that one hundred and sixty dollar mark, maybe like around the one hundred and sixty eight dollars, I might buy it right now. It's it's really looking uh, good. The stock is dipping like crazy. I I, I really just might. Uh, move all my uh, share, my equity from Microsoft into Apple, get 15 shares. I think 15 shares of Apple will cost me about uh, $2,600, and that's uh, much cheaper than Microsoft. And, um, you know, uh, Apple's raising the dividend. I know that uh, there's a lot of uh, tension in that stock. But, you know, again, I, I'm starting to like Apple's valuation levels. Um, Shell Company, $61. So oil has been taking a big, giant hit lately. Average cost, uh, $63, $67. I don't think I'm going to sell Shell. I, I really like their dividend. They pay a really high dividend. It's almost a dollar, uh, you know, for uh, for these shares. Um, the dividend yields uh, has to be much higher than that because the stock has been uh, getting the stock has been tanking as of late, down almost seven percent this past month. Um, very interesting there. Verizon, uh, I trimmed my position with Verizon. I saw that um, you know, so you, you know when you're buying into the high and the stock keeps going higher, um, you know you start. You know, getting clever. Well, not I would say start getting clever, but you see the writing on the wall. You know, you, you start saying, "Oh well, you know, it got high enough. Let me uh, sell off a couple of shares." I didn't sell off my complete position, but I did take some money out of Verizon. It got really, really high, guys. Like this thing is just in incredible. And you, you that, that's what you do. You buy low and you sell high. You sell high right here, and then you buy somewhere down here. That's what I did. So. Um, yeah, I'd say for the last look at this last week or so, this thing is just this thing has exploded. It's been trending nothing but uh, but again, you know, I still like Verizon's dividend. It's around four percent. I really wish the stock would just go back down to like fifty dollars, so that way I'll just you know buy a ton of shares of uh, Verizon. It's a it's a really good stock. A lot of people are just waiting for five uh, G and um, you know AT and T. They'll probably have five G. They have a Time Warner uh, merger. Uh, uh, you know, combined there. Uh, Wins Resorts, $100. Um, 
I really like Wins Resorts. Um, the reason why I bought Wins Resorts because they have some really uh, fantastic diversification in the casinos and uh, um, actually in China, in, the, in those China casinos too, they, they've been uh, working out deals out there. But, um, you know, I, I just think that I, I've been looking at Wins Resorts. It's, it's a great real estate investment trust that's very diversified within the uh, casino industry. There's a lot of uh, properties that they own. Um, I know Steve Wynn is uh, uh, now no longer with the company due to the, uh, due to the uh, scandal. I think it was last year or something like that, but um, you know, I, I always wanted to own the stock below a hundred dollars, and it dropped below a hundred dollars again today, and I just swooped up some shares. Um, you know, this stock was once two hundred and three dollars, guys. You look at the fifty-two week high, two hundred and three dollars. This stock got really, really high at one point, and um, you know, right now, see, that's the thing about these casino stocks—they go down really, really fast, and then they go up really, really fast. So, you know, if you play your cards right, you can make some really, really good money out of these uh, casino stocks. And I think uh, the dividend yield right now is sitting on three percent. It's much, much higher than that, thanks to uh, how much the stock has been dipping. Um, yeah, this thing was really been taking a hit but yeah guys that's gonna uh that looks like it's gonna do it my uh, portfolio this is complete uh stock to get in right now uh, stocks are going down a lot of stocks are hitting their bear markets uh apple's going down tech's going down uh there's been concerns about uh you know interest rates and growth stocks slowing down uh you know, uh, some of the moves that I'm thinking about doing, Microsoft uh, moving this entire equity over to Apple because I really, really like Apple. If they keep, I just want it to keep falling so it can keep keep on falling. Uh, let me just take a, take a look at the graph here. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, somewhere like right around there. I would love that price. Uh, I would easily uh, trade Microsoft out for that price. Um I, don't, I, I might keep some Microsoft shares. I'm not really sure if I want it, uh, if I if I will. But um, you know, right now I just think that the valuation of Apple is looking very very attractive because it keeps on dipping. It's, it's having really really bad corrections. Um, yeah, bear market. That's a, that's almost a bear market right there. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, I'm also looking at them. You know, again, like I said, I like Warren Buffett a lot. He, he um, uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, the firm uh, repurchased a, a ton of sh- uh, Berkshire Hathaway shares and. Um, um, you know, I think that when they did that, the stock increased. The stock went up like almost 6% that day. So I think that that's getting interesting. I, I, I think this is a little bit overvalued. This is not the time to jump in and brush out Hathaway. But um, you guys see my portfolio in Mushroom. So Boeing, Costco, and, uh, and Bank of America. So some of these stocks are, are starting to come back into the portfolio. I, I, I wasn't holding them before because of their, their valuation levels, which are so high. But, you know, now the stocks have dropped so much. I'm rotating the money back into these stocks. So we're seeing uh, rotating the money back into Boeing that uh, just had a 85 cent drop. <laughs> they just had a, uh, excuse me, an 85 cent drop for 27 uh, percent in the after hours. Uh, you look at a stock like Costco that had a, a, a uh, almost a five percent drop today, uh, minus nine dollars, guys. So the valuation is starting to become uh, interesting. The stock is still overvalued, but uh, you look at the stock for what it does. Um, I like the Costco pizza. I like the Costco pharmacy. It's just a good stock. It's a good stock that uh, you know hosts a lot of memberships. So I think that's very interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, minus three uh, three hundred and fifteen dollars. It was not a good day. The portfolio was slaughtered. The there are probably going to be more days expected like this in the market, and all you could do is just hang on to your stocks, guys. Uh, you know, that's going to do it. I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, Verizon, I kind of trimmed my shares there, but I'm, I'm definitely going to buy some more Verizon shares again. I'm just waiting for the stock to go back down. It may not go back down, but... You know, I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to weigh it out. That's going to do it, guys. 14500 I was at 15000 and now I am down big time. I am down $315 for the day. That's going to do it, guys, and I'll see you next time.